Hello. It is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I'm here to help. Thank you so much for all my viewers. I appreciate everyone watching and uh, coming back to see another video. Today we're going to uh, dive a little further into Excel. We talked a little bit before about some of the tools that are up top here. I wanted to use them a little more in an actual um, file that I have here so that a practical sense so that you can actually see them in action so and I also wanted to show you how to take what I have here and turn it into a chart now I talked about charts in Word but I'm now going to talk about charts in Excel very similar and yet a little bit different so what I have here is information for a an amusement park Okay. This is a comparison of the top five rides at an amusement park. Now, no, these do not exist. I did not actually take them from an amusement park. It is completely made up. But what it is is the number of riders each month that went on each of these top five rides. You can tell right here that some of these rides are kind of cut off. You can't see the full name of the ride. And that is because all these are still set up to be the column width that when you opened up the file. So I didn't change anything. All I did was type in my information. I wanted to change it with you. So what I'm going to do here first is I want to take my lovely title here and I want to have it centered over all my information, all my data. So I'm going to take and click and highlight all of the cells that go over all of my data. and I'm going to merge and center. Remember that is going to take all these cells, combine them to make one gigantic cell, and center the text that is in here. And there we go. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that all my column widths are the correct width so you can see everything in that column. So like for column A, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because there's not much in this column, just some numbers. Column B, however, has some long names to it. So I'm going to actually double click so that I can make sure I have everything in there. Remember, double clicking will make the column as wide as the widest or longest um, piece of data in there. And I think I'll double click for each one. Oh, no, not this one because that one has that other title in there. But each other one, I'm going to double click so that. And if you don't like how squishy that looks, even though it is showing everything in there, you can always change that. Let's do that. We're going to make everything about nine, so they're all the same. And now it's a little more uniform. Season attendance. We're going to leave this blank for now. This is going to have a formula, and that will be a whole nother video. We'll do formulas another time. So please come back for that one if you need to know about formulas. So now we have that taken care of. Now, riders each month, we're also going to do a merge and center, but only over the months. So we're going to just click and highlight the uh, cells that are over just the months. And now we're going to merge and center. Okay. Now let's change this to be a different, make it bold, this one we'll do some italics to, our titles here we will make bold, and I think what we'll also do is have them underlined. Now we're not going to do an actual underline right here, the U, we're going to do a border, just the bottom border and that will create a nice line actually instead of just a regular thin line because that's kinda hardly noticeable I think we're gonna go a little crazy here and make a thick oops, there it is thick bottom border I almost did a double bottom border we don't need double there we go that looks lovely okay now we I think that looks pretty good for now so we have our ride names how many people rode each ride 
each month. So a lot of people were coming during July and August and even June, probably because it's nice, nice sunny weather. Now, if I wanted to, I can take whatever pieces of information and make some charts out of it. If I want everything in my chart, I can do that as well. But if you just need one piece of information, let's say we want just our flumerator. How many people wrote each month just the flumerator? We're going to highlight just that piece of information. So from flumerator, now remember this, even though this is white, it is highlighted because it's the first cell that we started with. If I started down here, then that cell would be white, see? So it doesn't really matter. Wherever you start, that cell is going to be white. As long as you see that box around it, then you know it's included in your highlighting, the, the cells that you've highlighted. Now we're going to come up here to insert. We're going to come over here to charts. Now you can choose a chart that you want, or you can go to the recommended charts, and it will show you exactly what it would look like. They're recommending these four types of charts. The clustered column, clustered bar, the line, and the pie. So if you like one of those, you click on it. Let's see. I'm going to click on... Hmm... Let's see. I think what I need to do actually is have the title in there as well. I didn't like that we didn't have that in there. Okay. Here we go. Now you can see that there's April, May, June. All right. Which one do we like? Oh, they got different ones now. Stacked area, the pie, the line, and the clustered column. I'm going to go with the clustered column. Now it's going to put it right on top of there. That's okay. We can always move it. Remember, four arrows on our mouse pointer means move two arrows right there uh, on top of any one of your little handles means to resize. What you can also do is take this and completely put it on a different sheet. Remember you have sheets at the bottom here just like pages in a book. Okay, And if you right click on your um, chart right down here it says move chart. We're going to click that and it's going to ask you where do you want to move it. Do you want to put it on a new sheet? Or do you want to put it right inside of a specific sheet? One, two, three. Now, we don't want it on, on this sheet. We want to put it on its new sheet with its own name, Flumerator. So we'll always know. We can even say chart if you really want to get more specific. Say OK. And now at the bottom here, you will see Flumerator chart. Sheet 1 is still here with our information. It took our chart and it moved it. And here it is we can change our information by adding some elements. Let's see, titles. Okay, now we can have a title down here. This is the month. Okay, we also have our rider number of riders on the side here so we're going to put a title on the vertical and we're going to call it oops number of riders okay oops let me click back on there now where I'm at in case you get clicked off of it maybe you clicked here by accident or something I'm right here under chart design and you, of course, you also have format if you want to change colors. Remember, I showed you before with Word, if you click on your um, bars, you can change the color. Now, right now, each one has handles on it, which means if I change the color, it's going to change all of them. If I want each one to have its own color, then after I've clicked the one time, I will click again. Remember, you pause for a second. If you double click, that is not going to help you any. You want to pause it just a second and then click again. Now only April is selected, and I can select that. Select, um, sorry, right here, shape fill, and pick a color. Now only April is changed. Now I can go over here to May, and I can change that. 
over here to June. Maybe we'll leave June green. We'll come over here to July. We'll make that blue. We'll make August. Hmm, we're running out of colors. That weird brown color. Oops, and one more, September. Now, if you don't see your color here that you like, maybe I'll do yellow, you can always go into here to more fill colors. And you got lots to pick from in here. Um, I mean, you can kind of play around in here. Here's some more. Look at all these color, little colored pencils. You can kind of play around in there to see what you like. And that takes care of that. Now, if you want to change, oops, get back here. If you want to change the font, you can do that. Maybe make it a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit better. Same thing up here with this title. You probably want that one to stand out a lot. You can even make it bold. You can change the color of it. Oh, let me close that. Okay. Uh, oh, and down here. Let's do it again. See, double clicking opens that up. We don't want that open. Let's oops, go back home and change our size. There we go. And there's a chart on just the flumerator. Now let's say we do want a chart on everything. We're going to start with ride name. And we don't need these numbers. That's why I'm not including them. We don't need them in our chart. It's just for this table. We're going to go all the way over to, and if you want, you can do just a, one month. Maybe you want all the rides, but only for one month. You would just select it like this, insert. Um, let's do this this time. And here is just April with all the rides. I'm going to hit my delete key on my keyboard. It gets rid of that because I'm going to do all of the rides with all of the months. And this is all the season, uh, the one season. Season attendance is what we're going to work on with the formulas. Not right now. So once again, I've highlighted, insert, come over here. And again, you can pick the one you want, or you can look at what they recommend. They're recommending a line, clustered column, stacked area, stacked column, clustered column. Wow, they got it recommend a lot. Stacked column and cluster bar. So it kind of just depends on what you like. I kind of like the clustered column. Just depends on which one do I want. So this top one here has the months here with all the rides, whereas this one has the rides for each month. I kind of like that one. I'm going to click that one. Once again, it comes on top of our, our table, our data, but we don't want it there. So we're going to right click. We're going to move. We're going to put it in its own sheet called, let's see, we're going to call it, hmm, Riders on each ride. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It's just the name of the slide. I'm uh, sorry, the sheet. <laughs> Not slide. <laughs> Thinking of PowerPoint. So, the number of riders. Okay, so once again, we have our title. Now, if you don't like your legend down at the bottom, you can change that. You come over here to Add Chart Element, click in the down arrow, and come down to the legend. Right now, it's set for bottom. Frankly, I don't like it there, but maybe you do, and that's okay. Click right if you want it on the right, or left if you want it on the left. There's a couple other options, I believe. You can have no legend, which then you don't know what each color represents, but that's okay. Or uh, you can have along the top, just like it was at the bottom. Again, I like it on the right. So here it is. Now, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Our chart title. Let's see, this is um, number of riders number of riders, that sounds probably good. We'll just stay there. Now, what I'm doing to highlight everything here, instead of clicking and dragging, I'm just triple clicking, three clicks really fast, and that highlights 
I'm going to go home and change my font size. Bold. You can even change your font if you like. Let's see what would look pretty up there. Ooh, nice. Okay. You can even make it stand out with a color. I did it again. I keep double click, uh, double clicking in the wrong place. It's okay. Okay. We're going to change the color. You can do it under format or you can do it under home. Either way, here's our text information and our text color. We'll make it, oh, I guess we'll just stick with red. There we go. We're going to want, under chart design, to have access titles. This are the rides. And of course, we're going to want to probably have that stand out. Oops, our size is under home. Now here's another way to increase your size. You can click here if you know what specific number you want, or you can just click this, which will increase little by little until you know what you like. Now, of course, once again, if you see four arrows, you can move. So if I want to move down just a little bit, so it's not squishing, I could do that. Chart design. Let's add our vertical, which is the number of riders. Um, we're going to make that one red as well. There we go. That looks lovely. And of course you can do the same thing over here with your legend. If you click once on it, you can change your font size to make it a little bit bigger. You can change the color of the text. Now, I don't like doing that because it kind of makes them all be the same. And then you got to really look at the little boxes here to see what color is what. So I'm going to go back, leave it black. Looks nice like that. You can change the color of each one of these. Now, if you click on one, it selects all of the same color. So all my greens have been selected. If I don't like this being green, which is for June, I can change that under format, my shape fill, because this is a shape, and I can change it to something else. Maybe I want it to be, maybe I want it to be red. Now I'm going to change this red to be yellow. Okay. And that's just how you do each one. You just click on it. Now you could click again and have just this individual one to change that. I don't know why you would do that because you really want all the, the same months data to be the same color for this particular thing. But you can change each individual if you want. I can zoom back out so you can see this whole thing again. There it is. And on sheet one is still our information. So that is charts in Excel. Just thought of a better title five rides. There we go. And this is all kind of the same tools that you would see in Word for charts. Take a look at that video if you want to see a little further what each thing, each tool does, excuse me. It's all basically the same. So it's, you know, I'm not going to repeat, especially if you've seen that video already. I will just bore you. So stay tuned for more information on formulas. It does get exciting, trust me. And I'll also talk about how to change numbers, make, make them, um, you know, with a dollar sign or a percent sign or a comma, things like that. You can change exactly what that looks like. But that is a whole other video. 
Thank you so much for watching this one. I really hope that I've helped you with creating charts and even with formatting text in a real live situation here. And uh, click that like button if you uh, liked it. Please subscribe so that you know when the next video is coming out. And again, thank you so much for watching. You uh, have a great day.